starting to feel a little more like yeah. the Christmas mm -hmm. holidays. Hard to believe anyway. it's almost here until you walked outside this morning, Sarah Candy. Cold. Did you guys turn your heat on? Yeah. I did. Oh, yeah. I too. did not. Oh. I'm holding out, but it's like 60. Good for you. It's 65 in my house. It's uh, fine. It's just freezing. <laughs> yeah, just Sarah. put on a jacket. It's okay. <laughs> it won't be as cold as t cold tonight, though, so I don't think you're going to need the heat for most this evening. Seeing a few clouds right now in Gadsden, and that's going to be why our temperatures don't fall as far tonight, the cloud cover going to keep us a little bit more warm as we wake up tomorrow morning. So 65 degrees right now, dry air in place, and that'll keep all the rain away from us for the next 24 to 48 hours, but it is going to be on the way soon. So 64 right now in Jasper, as well as Asheville, 66 in Alabaster and Clanton. We're in the 70s still in West Alabama, Tuscaloosa, and Moundville, 67 in Fayette. So nice warm up throughout the day today, but our temperatures are going to be falling overnight tonight. Notice by tomorrow morning, though, we are not hitting the 30s. We're going to be in the upper 40s, low 50s. That cloud cover is going to do wonders to help keep us just a bit warmer for tomorrow. You'll see the cloud cover on satellite, and I want to show you what's going on in the Pacific right now because it is going to impact us. This is Hurricane Willa, right now a Category 4 hurricane that's going to impact Mexico. Now, why is that going to do anything to us? That's actually going to be our rainmaker towards next week. Not going to see any sort of tropical system, but the energy from Willa, as it continues to fall apart once it tracks inland, the energy from this storm is going to fuel another system that'll start to make its way towards us by the middle of the week. So notice all the wet weather by Wednesday evening. This is what's going to be coming to us. This area of low pressure starts to become more developed, and then our rain chance is really start to rise throughout the day on Thursday. So by Thursday morning, we're going to start to see some rain. It'll continue throughout the day. Not expecting any severe weather, just a soaking rainfall. Clearing out throughout the day on Friday, though. So we're going to stay pretty cloudy throughout Friday, but our coverage of the rain will really start to go down as we move throughout the day on Friday. And good news for the Magic City Classic. Does look like we will be clearing out by the weekend with just a stray shower possible on Saturday and even better weather for Sunday. So rainfall totals will be anywhere from one to two inches. The areas in purple likely going to see a little bit more wet weather. The farther south you go, tapping into more moisture. So that's where the rainfall totals will be the highest. Everyone else could see between one and one and a half inches over the course of Thursday and Friday. So looking at the storm team seven day forecast, we're going to warm up a bit each afternoon over the next couple of Day is staying mostly sunny to partly cloudy through Wednesday. Then a r the rain will arrive throughout the morning on Thursday, continuing throughout the day on and off, possibly through about Friday morning, where we'll gradually start to clear out. And then we'll cool down once again by the end of the weekend and also start to clear out. So by Sunday, our temperatures are going to be struggling to get out of the mid 60s once again. So no 90s in the forecast. We are done with that. No 80s as well. We are feeling like fall for the next